Hey guys, Tomboy 601 and today it is that glorious, that wonderful, it is update day. We have the Italian battleships in early access. Kaga is now in the Bureau. We do have new premium ships in the shop. I was not expecting that already and there are a couple of other things so we're gonna go ahead oh and the biggest thing crossplay is here like being able to play specifically crossplay divisions crossplay has been in the game but crossplay divisions is in and uh we'll show you how that works too so we got a good chunk of things to go through on this the wonderful update day uh do enjoy the footage as i charge and attempt to use the all new uh sap secondaries because uh they are a little bit of fun so do enjoy that footage as we rush headlong in just to see how they uh, fare. Anyways, let's go ahead and just kind of start talking through the update. The first thing that you need to know about is going to be the brand new divisions. If you want to go ahead and play with some people over on the other console, you're going to go over to the social tab down below. You see a friends list that you already have. You have Legends Friends, which is your friends from other uh, from other conquest or from other consoles and then you have requests which is where any people who send you a friend request will go ahead and kind of slide on into you can also see you can look into division and you can now actually see across the thing so I'm very excited because now when we do our live streams we'll be able to division up as opposed to doing countins because I know a ton of you are over on the other console you can also uh look at division invites and then find players if you if you're looking for a specific player uh, and you know their playstation handle you can go ahead and type it in right here that will get you you uh, be, to be able to send them the friend request in game so there is that next let's go ahead and take a look at the italian battleships i was lucky enough to get three of the four that are available the tier three the tier four and the tier five you see the tier five the on andrea dorio uh up on your screen right now so far it's pretty decent i i you definitely can feel the lack of accuracy we can go ahead and take a look at the arm view the most important thing to to know about these ships two things one at tier six they get access to what is a unique consumable for battleships and that is they do get the rolling smoke the exhaust smoke generator that is in the game and uh at tier six and tier seven you will be able to get access to those personally uh i may find myself purchasing 10 more of the big crates to get uh because we watched the footage um i got through about eight or nine without getting a drop so if i buy like the 10 crate i should through the guarantee mechanic get the tier six which hopefully would make for some good content so i'm looking at probably buying out uh 10 more of the crates just so that I can get the tier six in my port and then that will be a ton of fun uh also uh they're they're pretty they're pretty good sap you'll see it coming up it's interesting the the range on on the turrets or on the, on those shells the secondary range on these ships is not very far at all uh you 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 have to work to get within secondary range um so I don't know if there's something to build for. I'm going to continue to experiment with them, but they are now finally implemented in the game. Uh, next thing you need to know, if you do end up with any of the ships, you do, you will get these nice assignments. They are worth different amounts, which I find kind of fascinating. So uh, the tier three will get you uh, 50 doubloons for each victory and you get five promotion orders. The tier four will get you uh, 50, but with 10 promotion orders. And the tier five will get you 70 with 15 promotion orders. So a good chunk of things that are available to you right now. Overall, kind of interesting to see that they went that way. I, I was not expecting them to be worth different amounts. Next thing, if we go into the Bureau, of course, Minotaur has found herself into the Bureau. If you already have Minotaur and you complete the Bureau, you're gonna get 50 million credits, which will be very, very useful. Also, Kaga is in there. And let me tell you, I've, I've only played a couple matches in Kaga, but she may be my favorite tier seven aircraft carrier. Um, the Her low flying dive bombers make it so that you can actually land hits on destroyers, which is crazy. And uh, you get 24 
of each set of planes. So you have 48 planes to uh, throw into the wind with a fairly decent regen time. So overall, Kaga looking very impressive. And finally, the thing to look at in the shop, of course, you do have the uh, Italian crates right now and a sale on all Italian premium ships. But I think the more important thing is going to be the year of the tiger or the year of the tiger. The Lunar New Year stuff is already in the shop. I was expecting them to wait a week. Mind you, I think Lunar New Year is technically this week. So it makes sense that it's here. But in this is the Huang Ha, which is a very interesting ship. We I got myself a six pack my, the first time I brought her out. So uh, be looking forward to that. She is kind of wonky, but I find myself enjoying her. Also, there is special camos for the Huang Ha and the Luoyang. Additionally, Luoyang is now on sale for global XP. And then also there is still the last year's containers that are available for uh, purchase for the Lunar New Year. If you want a refresher on what is exactly in all of those, I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen right now. Basically, 21% chance of getting uh, eight camos, a 18.5% chance of getting promotion orders, a 15% chance of getting eight days, eight days of premium count time, 13% chance of getting almost 100,000 commander XP, 13% chance of getting 25,888 global XP, 7.5% chance of getting accommodation, 5% chance of getting insignia, and a 3.5% chance of getting the Southern Dragon, and a 3.5% chance of getting the Eastern Dragon. Those two ships being ones that uh, that are essentially Miyokos. That is the best way to kind of look at them. So that's what's new in the shop. Azur Lane coming next week. Not quite available yet, but be on the lookout for it. And that is kind of update day in a nutshell. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll of course have way more content coming this week, but this is kind of just a quick one, getting you guys used to what's in this update before I have to run out the door. Anyway guys, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like button, subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.